we are back. Uh, we are still waiting for, to see some pretty good matches here. And yeah, we're discussing Aki. And yeah, just uh, Aki. Kind of curious <laughs> Bro, to see. I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest. As yeah. when I saw the Aki reveal trailer, I was yeah. like, 16 year old me would be all over this woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, I could I can fix her. And then I saw the reveal trailer. I was like, no. Nah, she can't be fixed. This 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 woman is is far too gone. This is a this cannot be solved. But you know who? What else should not be 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 able to solved? I'm trying to uh, to segue this so hard. Uh, <laughs> check out the Macherinos, guys, for the people in the chat. <laughs> Exclamation yeah, point! Macherino. Really. It's all it's it's money time all the time. Uh, so make sure to claim those Macherino codes for both. Uh, <clears throat> for the season and the qualifier, the season is for the entire week, which go of entire uh, yeah league, which goes on for two and a half months. Uh, the qualifier is for the specific tournament that we are holding today. So make sure you mm. click on that claim code button. Already two codes being claimed. So good yeah. on chat for doing that. And while you're at it, uh, make sure to because I think for the season all codes have been claimed, but it's still open for uh, yeah for donations so if you want to do a direct contribution uh you are always able to do that but make sure to claim the codes for uh the the qualifier as well and support on ko-fi uh ko-fi ko-fi.com slash two uh the letter the, the the number two b e community for every dollar that you donate um Sinju will practically double uh it as far from what I remember. Uh yep. we're trying to get a eight hundred dollar goal. We're so far we're already going we're already quarter. Uh yeah, over a quarter there. So uh yeah, people are doing good. So make sure if you want to do a direct contribution, you could always do the uh, it could do it that way. Yeah. And uh yeah, once again, Metro, we know it's always you know you can uh, contribute. It's uh you can contribute like twenty five cents for free. And you can do it yep. with any like social media account or anything. You can even do it with your Twitch account, which you're using mm -hmm. right now to watch this exactly. stream. So go do it. Facts, man. Man is spitting a nothing but facts. Mm -hmm. You uh, and by for some people uh, who could be kind of weird. Like, hey, where does that money come from? Um, it's for deals that Matrino makes with uh, partners for advertising. Uh, so make sure. So don't worry. You do not have to pay anything. But speaking of paying, we are finally gonna get into the games. Yeah. See what player is gonna get paid at the end of the night. Let's see. I think the first match on. On stream is Zati versus Mr. Vega Punk. Zati with the Marisa Vega Punk, of course, with uh, the JP. JP apparently, according to the birds, the strongest character in the game at the moment. Mm. I mean, it's always arguable, of course, but yeah, JP, JP has a lot of um, of design decisions and things that makes him pretty strong and almost oh like God. you know, I'm a, I'm a guilty gear character uh, player at heart, and I was always. Feeling like yeah, this is this is the kind of character you could see in my game. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. But now Sometimes Zati it doesn't really feel like Street Fighter, you know. Yeah. Uh, but while we're saying all that, though, JP kind of suffering right now. <laughs> yeah, Zati showing that. Uh, also, another thing that the birds have been mentioning, especially uh, Big Bird, is that Marisa does not have bad matchups. Because uh, she has that damage. You saw yeah. it at the star, Zati just able to lay down the hammer, takes round one. Mr. Vegapunk, uh, maybe because he was playing very defensively, and that's when Marisa shines when she is able to play that offensive game. She just self smothers Ooh. you. There's the perfect parry. Safe jump. Yes, there oh, you go. Man. Where are you going? But yeah, that, that was. That's interesting always because, you know, it's JP versus Marisa, so you're like, you know, it's the game of oh, cat and mouse. Again. But if, if the if the cat catches you, you, like, there's no escape. You're just dying. And there's the command grab for JP Marisa, as well. I mean, oh, we try to do it again. Well. Not this time, though. Not this time. Jumps over. Zati needs one more good hit. Vegapunk wakes up with that crouching <laughs> jab. The standing short. Level three. Gonna yeah, keep very... himself alive. Very, very nice back dash here to make the the drive rush uh, whiff and taking the taking the, the ramp. Obviously, it cost a lot of meter, but you know, yeah, that I, yeah you're right. No, you're right. You're right. In, you know? It's cost <laughs> a lot of bar. 
But I mean, if you want, if you want, uh, want to stay alive, you gotta spend that cash. But that does put Zati in a big meter advantage with three bars. The spacing from Mr. Vegapunk, very good with that standing heavy punch. Good punish on that Superman punch. Oh, nice. Zati was aware. All right, sending Marissa back to full screen. Isn't it? That's where she suffers what? the most. Oh, but no. Oh. Yeah. Now he's now she's uh, trying to get it again. It's a Vegapunk. That was the the longest walk for it I ever did see. And now Vegapunk just kind of chilling. Yeah, that's definitely... He is definitely in his element right now. Yeah, of course. Once that JP is full screen, there's nothing you can do. Oh, oh try to throw! Whoa. Both tried to throw! And just like that, Vegapunk takes game one. But we saw how explosive that Marisa can be. And as we keep saying, round one or game one is data. It looks like Mr. Vegapunk has now uh, maybe found some information about the way Zati likes to play. Yep, definitely. I think one th one thing we saw a lot with Zati was a lot of throws. So maybe yeah, another one. Yep. Yeah, and just noticing that Zati is just happy to parry all the projectiles that are coming out, but the medium punch, medium punch into the EX. Oh, there's the OD Amnesia, probably the best wake up option in the game. This counter. Whoa! This is wow. why you lose neutral sometimes, huh? Eh? <laughs> oh, wow. the Amnesia missed. Could yeah, the OD Amnesia a bit too, 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 uh, too late, and now Zati needs one more hit. The air oh. throw! And the and punish the counter punish. throw on the parry. Wow. <laughs> Lots of things happening in that corner. Oh, for sure. Lots of things indeed happening. Zati is one round away from that loser's back of Mr. Vegapunk needs one more round to take home the set. Oh, oh again, man. there's the grab. Where are you going? This is this might be how it starts. Oh, uh -oh. Vegapunk with a very good jump into cross up. Now Zati in a difficult oh, yeah, situation. Low. Getting clipped. Yeah, the low, of course. Combo. No still, armor still. on the Gladius. Oh, oh no punish on that throw. Ah, very Amazing nice, the damage. jumping combo, Level this is going to be a lot of damage. Is yes, it the best friend? Yes. It's not going to be enough, I think. It's going to be close, but burnout for Zati. Uh, that's uh, that's something uh, the JP likes to see, but very close now. Needs one more hit. Yeah. Gladius, this, we walk back. But this is also kind of a one-touch situation for uh, Mr. Vegapunk with the level 3, though. So this is quite dangerous, <laughs> but Zati just managing to, to, to get that one with the jump out here. Yeah, it's fine. Dry yeah, brush. Zati, uh... Ooh, very nice. Yeah, Zati Good doing way. the best <laughs> Eddie the Eagle impression again with the command throw. Oh, the charge Gladius. That does a lot of damage. Air oh, grab again from Vegapunk. Oh, man. <laughs> You're so dead. And the unfold. Yeah. And now it's 1-1 one, one, Zati not rolling over. Yeah, and this is this is interesting. You know, like uh, Street Fighter is always, you know, like the reputation, the calm and calculated game and thing and all. But this, this things are happening super fast in this matchup. Wow! Oh, great a good jump in from Zabi, gonna bring the opponent all the way to the corner. And already at already thirty percent damage. Gonk punish counter throw, decent chunk for Mr. Vegapunk now as well. Zati getting dangerously close to burnout. Has one more drive bar. Available, gotta watch out for those uh, chip damage and those spikes. Yeah, especially since JP just loved the opponent oh, being again. in burnout so much. Oh, ah, goes nice. low. Yeah, right. Oh, not Ooh. this time. Baited out the amnesia, and now Zati is on the verge of taking the set after almost losing the entire game. Now, let's see how Mr. Vegapunk can do. Great start to round two here. Yeah, definitely, Marissa now full screen, gonna have to face all that zoning, parrying something, trying not to lose too much bar, but... Ooh, very nice. Full and what I've been noticing... Again. Oh, 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 What I've been noticing from Zati has, is that they have been able to find those, those holes where they can jump between the JP pressure. Uh-oh. You do not want to let the Marisa start, but the OD Amnesia. Oh, that was mixes on mixes on mixes. Level three. No. Oh. Saves the bar. Does not want to use it yet. Yeah, getting a bit greedy, but it might pay off. It might definitely pay it off. Will. It, it, does. It, it will. It will. But now, final round. Game number three. Round number three. Wow. Run up command throw. 
This is Vegapunk kind of feeling himself right now. Yeah, this is definitely a dangerous situation for both players with level 3 on the deck. Oh, Ooh, okay. okay, the trade, that's fine. Watch out for the command grab. No, it was the low that time. No, uh, the Amelia wakes yeah. up with the parry. Oh, armor on oh. that Superman punch, but Vegapunk lucky on the, on the right side. It's going to be some big damage. Step kick into level 3 is going to put Vegapunk now in the corner. Zatina one mix away from taking the set. Yeah, fat damage, plus now you're at in a very bad spot. Still, the ODM is there. Oh, it is. The Dragon Pact! And this is it. <laughs> yeah, the wall yeah. splat. I mean, that it is something you have to be mindful of. of as soon as you're in that corner, you gotta be aware that yeah. the drive rush of the, the drive impact is coming. Yeah. It's not, it's not an if. It is a when. It's something it's a, you need to be. Uh, you need to be aware of at all times. Yeah, definitely. And that, to be fair, that was like very hard to react to because we hadn't seen it once in the entire set. This mm -hmm. is definitely like how you use those kind of uh, reactable uh, mechanics. It's like you don't do them often. You're really oh, just you don't you you want to be very to use them very sparingly, and then they become super effective. And that was really the best time to 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 use it in my opinion yeah, for sure for sure up yeah. next especially in a get... stressful yeah. situation like this oh 100 percent. I, I mean uh, we saw it I, I saw the adaptations coming out from mr vegabank at the start because round one was just straight up only uh was just the Mariza uh from zati going absolutely nuts and round two that's what's when the, that moment where mr vegabank was kind of starting to to get some things going with the jp and it just kind of went back and forth, and in the end, it was Zati's Marie is just a bit too powerful, uh, and uh, mm. takes it home two one. Very close set. That's always good to see a close set. Uh, Zati yeah, will sure. find a leak uh, later on, which is uh, top five in the standings now as well. But up next is going to be Demulon versus Amiti. Demulon on the Ryu and Demulon on the Jury. If I saw that correctly. Yes, I think you did, but I, I I saw a Ken and not a Ryu. So oh, a Ken! Ah, oh, it's it's a uh, it's a show though. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah that, that's kind of uh, <laughs> that's not very nice. To show I mean, you're correct. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Jury with the classic outfit as well. I love to see it. Yeah, well, classic SF five, but you know, but yeah, Ken, uh, very de definitely. I mean, both of these are very popular pick. Both Jury and Ken, very strong character. Mm -hmm. One of them won Evo also. Yeah, oh, little, little known yeah, fact. Okay. Oh, that OD, OD DP. It's it's something you have to just whip out at some point. Just making a statement, saying to your your opponent, like, "Hey, I'm not afraid to use this very high risk, high reward tool." Because now look at this already meaty now in burnout, but the health bar of Demulon is uh, is on life support. Meaty only needing a couple more hits to finish off the round, but now Demulon going kind of nuts. There's the low forward. The confirm is there. Not enough damage, but gets the setup. Ah, man. Go for it again. Yeah. Crouch MK definitely doing work, but yeah, Miki was applying so much pressure. Ooh, yeah, this is th this is looking like the start of the previous match one, uh, mm -hmm. round once again. Lots of pressure on that side. Ooh, very nice punish. Yeah, All man, right, he's gonna, well. send, he's gonna send Miki to the corner a bit. Oh, Ooh, tried to the check the dragon. Yeah, check the. He tried to check the the drive rush. Uh, with I think that was a crouching jab. A little bit of a scrambly situation there. He's trying to close the distance with the step kick as well. But there's yeah, the throw. Throw. trying to slow down whatever Meaty's trying to do because Meaty has been on all cylinders. There you go. Level 3 coming at you. Yeah, gonna be a ton of damage. Gonna send the opponent to the corner. And also, they are burning out. So, this That's is big. Oh, oh, is is reaction. What? <laughs> the ODDP on anti-air, just enough to close out the round. And again, we are having a very close game so far. And immediately, Meaty just <laughs> stocking up. That was so smart to avoid that uh, Fushin. Yeah, definitely. Like, Juris Projectile is very strong. It's kind of a neutral skip in a way. Not exactly, but you know what I mean. And yeah, getting over this was very, with the toss was very smart. Ooh, plus frames. Watch out for the DI. It's going to come out at some point, probably. Mm -hmm. Oh, the air-to-air air 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 approach. The corner. Yeah, Demulon just looking very good with the air-to-air air approach. Was uh, he was he, the man was playing like a surface-to-air missile. I was not letting every single time. Meaty wanted to get into the air. I was like, nah, you you going you going back down again, Demulon. 
Getting a great start. Oh, the mm. overhead straight into the throw. Wow, that is that is, that is gutsy. And of course, you gotta loop it. That's oh, number three. Man. He's getting four. No. <laughs> okay. But yeah, th this is this was definitely the, the start of a Ken round. You just take oh, yeah. it immediately brought to the corner. And you, you just take throw uh, like a million oh. times. Oh, very nice. Yeah. That was a very good way to just check the jury drive rush, the low forward. I mean, saw that it hit straight into DP for max damage. And Media again just backing off, oh, but know a... that, yeah, the hurricane kick just so good. We're dealing with that projectile. Yeah, definitely. This is this is actually a very smart um, idea in the semi. Uh, yeah, I yeah just keep, keeping him in the corner. corner. He's yeah, really, sh he's really telling me to to slow down the pace. Do not approach me from the air. <laughs> Media subs is wow. That was a couple of whip throws, and the di is reacted to, and with three bars on deck, coming at you once again. Demulon will make this a quick 2-0. Yeah, again, this is happening s so fast. <laughs> I, mean, and, a... I mean, we we yeah. saw the start. <sighs> Media looked just in control with the jury, but Demulon just turning around. Yeah, this is wow. <laughs> the, I mean, this the, the previous uh, the previous set, where it turned, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it took took a took a while. But, I mean, that, that's a that's a Street Fighter Six Ken set for you. Just it was just looks like like uh, Demulon just knew how to approach the matchup after round one. Uh, really saw that Midi really wanted to go on the offensive and just found a way shut to shut down. That offense, and once that happened, it was just uh, media just, just looked kind of lost. Just didn't really know how to approach it. Yeah. Plus, uh, Demulon did manage to check, you know, a lot of um, of media's option, just approach mm -hmm. the, like the projectile with the tattoo, yep. the the drive rush with the crouch MK and all. So it was kind of, you know, it, it seemed like Mitty what really wanted to play aggressive, but uh, yeah, mm -hmm. Demulon just saying can't do that on my watch, you know. Exactly. I mean, you, you pointed out that the drive rush checks were there. Of course, Jury, one of the strongest drive rushes in the game, uh, yeah. goes a very, very long distance. Um, but yeah, yeah but that was them. To check it. Yeah, oh, for sure. For sure. That was yeah. them. But now we're going to get Pshu, mm. Germany's, or arguably Germany's strongest Moriza player versus Froggy Frogmeister, Froschmeister, uh, who mm. plays Luke. And I think, uh, let me check the standings uh. real quick. Chris Chris with, uh, with the like Ninja Turtle uh, oh, yep. <laughs> background thing. That's Turtles in nice. a half shell. Yeah, Pshu is in the top seven. He's top seven when it comes to standings. He's quite a few points away, but still has. Uh, yeah, can get some points, uh, especially today with the big people. Uh, Ganglion, Cranky, Senzo, and Robotnik missing from the bracket. Because mm. um, uh, Pshu has also done very well in tournaments so far um especially when you look at salty eu has got a couple a couple of second places salt mine has placed i think top 16 or top 32 a couple times because of course salt mine is a gigantic tournament every single weekend mm -hmm. uh, has also done pretty well in the world warrior series i can't re quite remember what they placed in the germany but um, i i i think they would do pretty well there but yeah Pshu, um very solid on uh, uh <laughs> oh never top eight yeah i thought i was thinking top 16 but never top eight you'll get there pew mm. In inevitably you'll get there yeah but yeah um i gotta say like not exactly like related to the matches themselves but between the the super fast rematches the the the, the speed at which the the players are coming in by the way oh yeah the, the, great uh, jump the, from the, the jumping that. heavy kick Huge so damage already, 35% just erased from Froggy Meister's HP bar. Yep. Ooh, yeah, getting clipped on the dash. It's fine, not taking too much damage with oh the charge gladness. Okay, letting nuts. the DP rock. Ooh, oh, gonna jump in. That's gonna be yes. quite a bit of damage. You're gonna equalize the, the life bars a little. So. Yeah, Froschmeister is very good on that Luke. One more hit. Yeah, of course, that I think that's minus three. The first hit of that overhead. And there it is again. The armor on the Gladius straight through the Sandblast takes round one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sandblast oh. was better projectile than the game, but... You know... It's a very yeah, fast projectile. It doesn't go very far. Oh, try to go for the command grab. Little mix-up there, but Froschmeister mm, nice not biting, and the DI is reacted to. 
Hey, hey, hey! And level 3. Level three. We, we yeah, are indeed going three. down to Memphis. Yeah. That is Bruno. Yeah, it is just enough. And Upshu kind of in a bad spot at the moment. Frushmeister, all the momentum right now. Smart. Yeah, Glide is uh Glide is a good anti here. Yeah. Ooh, nice, yeah. And here with the jab. Gonna keep Shu at bay a little bit. Ooh, yeah, oh, the yeah. on that Gladius, yeah. Shu yeah, really that even... yeah, because, because uh Marisa leans so far with the Gladius. If you know the timing of that Gladius punch, it is very easy to uh yeah, to whiff punish that. So you need to you really need to switch up the timing of your gladiuses so you can either avoid or punish Kyler their attempt at with punish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Target right. combo. Bringing Shu very close to the corner. Not really going in too much for uh, Frogmeister, staying quite patient, but not really going to pay off here. Shu fighting that with punish. And now we're all the way to the other corner. This happened. Yeah, close to close. Yep, definitely. Ooh, and a very nice jump in. That's gonna be a lot of damage. Oh, oh big drop though. It's still fine though. We're still in this. Oh, right, this right, is right, this start. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely back. Marisa there time right now. Oh, this yeah, is level go. three. The armor straight into the level three is gonna take game number one. Pshu, of course, he has those very, very quick reactions. So I'm not surprised with that at all. The Frushmeister, he is a. Uh, I, I recall correctly. I, I recall Sinjul telling me that this man has been playing the Street Fighter ever, like all the way back since Street Fighter Three. So he's been in the scene for a long time. Very well respected uh, yeah, member. But Pshu just showing that the young blood can do as well. Oh, plus on whiff, my dude. Yep. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I did whiff on the dragon, so <laughs> a DP right now. But yeah. Uh... Hawkmeister's bit back against the wall here. Not gonna take a DI or anything. Ooh, the punish counter. Gonna... Ooh, oh, we, we, we trade in places. We trade in places. Yeah. It's all good. We'll try to jump out. Punish counter throw. Now Frogmeister. Oh, the Ooh, big dash to avoid. And there's the overhead into the jab. Yeah. Helps you one round away of taking the set. Oh, good jumping. jump in. Yeah, there's that rising uppercut. OD, of course, invincible on wake up. Almost with the whiff punish on the EX Gladius. Bro, if you get hit by the EX Gladius charge, you just, it, you, you, not, not only your character feels, you feel it physically. Yeah, you, you start regretting every action that could have led you here. Exactly. You start regretting oh, no. ever launching the game. I mean, there, oh. <laughs> there you go. We were saying that might actually be enough. It's going to be very close. Burnout. Very close. Oh, no, it uh. is just enough. Marisa with a kiss on the knuckles. Shoo. Taking it 2 0 over Frushmeister, sending him down to the loser side of the bracket. Yeah, the, the level 3 did so much damage. It was very early in the combo, to be fair. So there wasn't a lot of proration, but still, you see like a third of the health bar disappear in a single hit. <laughs> this game is pure violence, actually. <laughs> Why is my camera... Why is my camera... Uh, it's freezing. This is kind of... Kind of this is kind of wacky. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I see it. That's weird. But yeah, um, we are progressing quite fast in this bracket. Uh, currently on uh, the, the, the second the second uh, round on, of uh, stream matches. Uh, it's going to be .exe against Diver. Uh, Diver is also pretty pretty proficient co uh, KOF player, uh, if memory serves. Dolly Exige uh, with a lot of points as well. This could be pretty interesting for him to really just try and get as far as possible. Mm -hmm. And of course, Dot Exe uh, yeah. last Monday on Wanted. So, and if I mean, if you make it to Wanted, you do something pretty, you doing something pretty right. So yeah, Dot mm -hmm. Exe, he's known for Definitely. the jury, doing very well in the World Warrior tournaments as well. Uh, so e Dot Exe, uh, one of the prime players to take home some points today. Uh, meanwhile, who's let's see who's in the loose side of the bracket. Hyde already being eliminated from the tournament by Tim Rudd. 
And Tim Red's gonna face Froschmeister. Wolfie Kuhn and Mr. Vegapunk are duking it out at the moment. One Piece Van and Meaty are duking it out. And Ruzu is sending home uh, Esparta C or Espartaco. Uh, one, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, being sent home oh, by think. Ruzu. But now it's time for .exe versus Diva. Yep. All right, coming in. This is the, um, as, as you can see, the look and uh, look and Drury are obviously quite popular characters. I mean, I haven't seen too much, too many looks, but yeah, uh, Drury, you. I mean, the most it's most it's notable look, you know? most notable look probably at the moment is Mena RD, uh, being of course uh, he plays uh, Blanca and Luke. Uh, the pair, uh, yeah, it, it kind of depends on the matchup. Yeah, Luke. Is a character that is very much playing Street Fighter 6. Some characters are not playing Street Fighter 6, but Luke definitely is at the moment. Now yeah. has dot exe in the corner, repping the hard edge Germany. Let's go. Shout out to hard edge, by the way. Oh, mm. overheads blocking with your face. All right, back to mid screen, trying to find that space. Drive rushing in. Oh yeah, there's nice the anti air. Yeah, and the, the crouch MK catch, uh, catching uh, Diver trying to do something after landing. Mm -hmm. I think it was Ooh, a crouching right. and a heavy kick, but I could be wrong. Uh, oh, wow, the punish. I mean, the, the perfect parry straight into the, the throw. Switch sides. No, back to neutral. Both players just very, wow, <laughs> very patient to get things going. But it is going to be Diver to find the good hit now. That EXE stuck in a corner, and of course, Luke has that throw loop as well. Walk back, medium punch, big damage once again. Oh, oh and that's no. a big drop. Yeah, very unfortunate drop, eating a combo back to oh, mid-screen, but... Diver looking like it's going to be fine, only need one more hit. Trying to <clears throat> get something with the projectile. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Of course, you got at, at some point you just mash. Mm. If you see a, an, an HP bar that's that low, you're gonna get you're gonna mash crouching jab or crouching light punch at some point for that guaranteed hit. Oh, good parry on that that charge knuckle. All right. This player, yeah, you you see a lot of uh, back and forth in the mid range uh, right now. Ooh, oh, straight to level yeah. three, big damage, cashing out. Yeah. Plus, uh, plus .exe currently very close back to the wall. All right, All right. and now here we are. Oh, one tried to loop it, but the jumping medium punch into the EX dive kick. And Level one as well. Yeah, he has that burnout well. now. All right, this is very dangerous for Diver here. Oh, but the oh. jump in, not going to be enough to kill, but very close. Nice and here. Watch out for the drive rush. Gonna get hit, get hit by the overhead. Yeah! Uh, oh, he couldn't do uh, anything. Uh, oh. oh no, he oh, messed no. it up. He tried to backdash no. for the store, but no, that EXE a little bit too far forward. That's gonna give Diver his bar back. Oh, we parry the level one. Big oh, damage in EXE taking game one. And as you said, Masker, this is a whole back and forth. Yeah, 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 definitely. I, w I was afraid that uh, Dot EX would just kind of uh, lose from that mistake, you know, just kind of uh, be like, just not really managing to, to, to get over it immediately, but no, nah, it's fine, it's fine. Still managed to get the win. I, I, like, it's something I was discussing a bit yesterday, but you know, in tournament, like in a, in a setting with pretty big, with some stakes and all, you gotta be fast. You, you can't really just uh, be, get too focused on your mistakes. Gotta just uh, keep the uh, keep the show going, and um, and really just uh, can't let that affect your mental at all. Because oh no, for sure, for sure, for sure. Away. I mean, speaking about now, level one on wake up, and that is enough to close out the round. Spending one bar on wake up, uh, disrespecting dot uh, <laughs> exe. It's uh, okay. Mm. Just like that. Some, uh, at some point, you gotta say, like, no, 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 now you gotta stop. I got that get out of jail free card. Jump in, punish counter, dive ready with the with the, with the parry. But now .exe has that jury momentum. That forward dash, so menacing. All right. All right, tech, throw tech, but diver's in the corner. Oh, what are we zooming? Yeah, too much recovery. That should be enough. Yup, there you go. Even with the burnout, that doesn't matter. Spend on the bar. Keeps the super bar as well, so .exe still has access to three of those super bars. Needs one more round to take the set. Yep. And with the, with those three bars, this could turn like when, you know with with some big combos, this could definitely turn into a two touch situation. You know. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Really yeah right. 
Jury not known for for big damage, but has long combos. Of course, but that level three can uh, do a lot of damage in the end. Yeah. Oh, check with also, the crouching medium kick as well. Deciding to Dotty actually just deciding to keep the meter on that interaction. Wonder if it's going if he's not going to regret it right now. Diver cashing out, doing a lot of damage. We're going down to Memphis. Yeah, now EXE has the CA though. That's what, even more damage. Gotta watch out. Yeah. One more stock Again, left. This, yeah, playing the mid range quite a bit, being patient. Oh, burnout. Oh, needs one more hit though. EXE yeah. very low. Needs to be very careful right now. Yeah, he's got the ton of plus frames with the burnout. All right, oh, nice and here. Yeah. <gasps> well, and dash it. up throw. Yeah. All reliable. Yeah. <laughs> this is Street Fighter we're talking about, you know? Yeah. <laughs> for All sure, right. for sure. One match each. This is quite close. Yeah. Right. Both, both, are, uh, both have a game. Again. First to two as well. Yep. Oh, EX or OD DP overdrive. Oh, perfect parry on that medium punch. Oh, oh, that was a reset. That was a reset. Uh, All right, right get the Oh, he tried again. EXE not buying this time though. Oof. Yeah, oh, you, wow, you can see some. That. You can see some pretty ni nice adaptation to, to 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 the wake up after that, but not really going to be enough here. Dot EXE maybe on his last leg. Diver very close to winning this set, but nothing is decided yet. You know, it's only over when the game says it's over. Yeah, it only it it, it it ain't over till it's over, of mm -hmm. course. But Diver having the best, sitting in the best position now. Oh, Dot EXE finally gets some hits. Oh, there's a crouching medium kick as well. Big confirm yeah, here, close to that third bar. Punish counter throw. Yeah, this is very big. And the Ooh. DI... Ooh. Okay, that's uh -oh. not going to be a ton of damage, but getting some very nice positional advantage here. This is... Oh, this Ooh. huge, this huge. Level yeah, four? This... Oh, level, not level three. No level three yet, but it's going to be here, though. Level yeah, three. Yeah, the CA, that's going to be enough. Diver is going to take the set. Two, two, one. It looked like EXE was coming back. No, it, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. No way. But the, the the this is such a dangerous situation with the burnout and yeah, Diver going to take it with the cheap damage. Moving on, uh, moving on for moving forward to the to the bracket. <laughs> yeah, and that, dude, I was ready to call it after that. CA. I was for oh. sure that it was going to be enough. But that exe being sent to the loser side of the bracket as the first seed by Diver. Now we have a top four on the winner's side between Diver and Leak FGC. On the other side, we got Demula who took it over Master MT. So a couple of upsets here as we see yeah. Diver, the number eight seed, take it over .exc and Demulon, the number seven seed, taking it over Master MT. So a couple of, a couple of upsets here in this bracket, not something you see very often. Hmm. Yeah, pretty, bound to be pretty interesting. Also, like the in the win of Diver against Leak, we haven't seen Leak FGC yet uh, on stream. Yet, no, no, so. no, not yet. But he is a very solid player. But up next, we're gonna wait a bit before we see him because it's gonna be Pshu versus Demula. Demula, yep. of course. But the Ken versus Marisa, uh, very interesting match. Of course, we know yeah. Ken just wants to go all in all the time, but Marisa is kind of like that as well, but a little bit more methodical. Of course, with Marisa. Not having very many, inv I mean, she has a couple of invincible options, most likely probably the level two. Uh, and of course, you have that counter, which you uh, can use as an armor. But Ken, having access to that ODDP, of course, a very important tool. Uh, but again, yeah, Marisa needs just to be, needs to be a little bit more methodical in her approach than, than Ken. Uh, yeah, plus Mar Marisa, you really want that momentum, you really want that wind mm -hmm. in your sail because, especially since, as you said, she doesn't have, like, she does have defensive options, but they're kind of, you know, doesn't, don't work in every situation, and yeah. Ken's pressure is super, uh, super suffocating. But to be fair, her own, uh, her own pressure is as well, so it's bound to probably it's probably going to come down to yeah who gets the momentum and manage to write it until the the end of the match 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Pew is, from what I know them, a very emotional player. Really likes to wear their heart on their sleeve. I mean, every single time they lost to RMK Fast in the Salty Grand Finals, I see them kind of salty in chat. So, but <laughs> at that point, like when you're a very, I mean, yeah, it got, uh, when you're an emotional player, you tend to uh, take risks more often. Looking at a player mm -hmm. like uh, Daigo, who's a very calculated player, who really, I mean, does take risks from time to time, but you never see, mm -hmm. I mean, of course, we all know the Ume Shoryu, right. but other yeah, than that, we all know the rare footage of Daigo actually angry, you know? Yeah, rare footage of Daigo actually angry. <laughs> but yeah, uh, definitely. I think being a more emotional player definitely is both a, a strength. It's a double-edged sword, a... right? Hmm? Yeah, it's it's a double-edged sword. You can yeah. uh, it can be good. It can it can be bad. If you let it take, if if you let the the emotion take over, that is a bit uh, that's a bit oof. Uh, you need to you need to call you need to calm down at that point. Uh, but I mean, if you got if emotional players get the momentum, that's when they're at their most dangerous. Yeah, the game definitely gets strengthened, you know, by the mm -hmm. by, by the momentum because once you once you start getting you know the um, those hits, those combos, those okay that the the, uh, the set is looking good for you, you just. You can, you can definitely just keep it going uh, forever, pretty much. Alright, sure, and sure. we are started. Ooh, oh, we got Spirit of the Flame, I love Ken's theme. Let's go, and already stuck in the corner is Pew. I mean, the Ken is just so solid when, you, when you're stuck in the corner. Oh, but the yeah. Superman Punch finds the mark. Plus, be, oh. being stuck in the corner against Ken, like for a lot of characters, this is just straight up game over. But That's very still, hard, but Marisa... There is a reason why Big Bird keeps saying Marisa has, Marisa has no bad matchups because the damage she does is uh, kind of dumb. But now look at this. Demilon needs one more hit. And there's the yeah. low forward. Nice. But yeah, Marisa, obviously, like, she, she does struggle quite a lot in neutral like in, in a lot of matchups. But, I mean, yeah, the damage is such a great equalizer, you know? Like, very so oh, much yeah. pressure, and once she, she gets you, you just lose so much health so fast. Yeah, for sure. Oh, Ooh, good nice. anti, yeah, good dragon punch on uh, the Superman punch. Good reactions from Demulon. Now, oh, back, uh, we're going back to a little bit more uh, neutral game. Oh, that was the wrong button for the jumping. Could have gotten the hit with, a, with maybe the jumping medium or heavy kick, but chose for the medium punch. <laughs> oh, and Pshu now gets a decent hit here. Yeah, you, uh, we've seen already a couple of uh, punish counter with those heavy kicks. Oh, missing the combo, but it's fine. Just getting another one. It's not a very consequential drop. Yeah, game one going very quickly to Demulon. Not a player, I think. May, have we seen him before? I can't remember. I was not able to check out the, the bracket last week, but the first one I didn't see. I don't remember the name. Demulon. Let's uh, check the standings to see if I'm actually... No, I am not. <laughs> I uh, I am not a frog because Demulon is not doesn't have any points as well. So now Demulon just kind of coming out of nowhere and wrecking yeah. Pshu. The overheads there as well. So much damage. Yeah, co coming out of nowhere and just making a statement. Wow, wow very nice reaction. Getting the uh, the the jump in combo. This is probably gonna be yeah. it yeah, for, for Pshu here. Checkmate. Okay, yep. at that point, kind of you're asking, what do you do in the corner? The drive impact was there. And uh, Pshu just not able to react in time. And indeed, Demilon does kind of slap, jumps away from the command grab. That's an option you don't very uh, often see from the Marisa. They whip it out when you don't expect it. But Demilon is just looking ready on all sides. Yeah, probably Demilon maybe just watch uh, watch the the previous set. With Pshu saw that he liked doing uh, go, going for throws a lot and just managing to dodge every single one of them. Pretty impressive. Uh, this could have been the end. Gonna get oh, more, yeah, more chance, it. but yeah, that's this it. is going to be it. Shipu Ejinerai Kyaku, the level two. It's gonna be more than enough. And Demulon, just like that. A couple of minutes was this entire match. Taking it 2-0. The Ken just looking unstoppable right now. But, I mean, what, what do you do, man? What do you do? <laughs> That's an excellent question that I don't have an answer for. <laughs> it's like Demulon just uh, going in and gonna be waiting in that winner final already. 
Yeah, Man, th it was that that went by like a flash. Yeah, once again, and, and it happened so 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 fast. It hasn't even been an hour. <laughs> I mean, and sometimes you get to grandfather uh, like um, someone. I can get to go to bed early tonight. Let's go. Ah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Nah, I'm just gonna, kidding. <laughs> Go, going to 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 decide here who will be facing Demulent in the winner final. This is going to be either Diver with Luke or Lake FGC with Manon. Oh Manon, I love seeing me some Manon. Mm -hmm. That character, I think, is a lot stronger than people think she is. Even though she's very un underrepresented, I think she's one of the lesser played characters uh, at the moment. She does have Idom being a very strong representative for the character. Uh, but yeah, it's not a character you see very often. Even in Grapplers, you 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 see more Zangief, even though he's considered to be a little less strong. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> but she definitely has a lot of options. Uh, just putting to, to put you in blenders and all. It's just yeah, some of her stuff is risky, but I mean, it's a, she's a Grappler, so you kind of expect that to be the case, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think the thing is though, I think when she compares to other grapplers, her damage is a bit lower at the start, uh, yeah, because of the metal system. But as soon as she gets like the when she gets like two grabs or like two uh, two medals, uh, shows yeah. he has a total of three medals. That's when like you kind of think to yourself like, uh oh, now things are becoming very scary because at that moment when she hits you with that command grab, that's like forty percent of your HP bar just gone. And when she has yeah. the fifth medal, my god, you gotta be sweating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like when she gets gets the ball rolling, you know? It's very yeah, it's very, very snowball character. It's she, not she like scary about the second, you know? And by the way, you yeah. know so you know what else should be scary? Uh, should not be scary though, is clicking those Matcherino codes. We still have a ton of codes <laughs> still remaining <laughs> for the qualifier offense. 46, so uh, we are a whole dollar in, but that's a good thing though. But be sure, chat, if you're in here, uh, claim those Matcherino codes. Uh, let me claim mine actually, because I uh, I'm not a good commentator and I haven't claimed mine <laughs> own yet, so yeah, there you go. Bibbidi bobbidi. Boom. Five codes are now claimed. So make sure to claim your codes, chat, to support the players putting in the time here in the Challenger League <laughs> numero seven. Yeah. Just, you know, supporting the scene and all. All right. Dave and Leak is going, going to go down right now. Winner's yeah, semifinals here, the other half. Oh, yeah, of course. You got to be careful with the jump-ins. Diver, very solid on those anti-airs. Yep. This oh, is... no, the anti -air this yeah. time. Oh, and there's the first grab. Ah. This is how it starts. <laughs> yeah, that's this, true. This could be the beginning of the end already. <laughs> All right, Dave. Ooh, very nice, perfect parry. Getting that second medal. Already at three. Oh, 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 and that's the Sunday. fear that Grappler's putting you in the jump in is gray straight over that sandblast. Taking a round one with four medals. This is a great start here for League. Yep, definitely. This is going to be a lot of dangerous situations five. and already 30% of your health. Yeah, Out that's number five already. Every single command grab is going to hurt now. Yep. So you have to be careful. This is super scary now, and this is so hard to like come back from this when you're uh, against a Manon like, with like five Ooh. medal. Ooh boy, that is not enough. Not yet. He's one more ahead. Leak is looking for it. The overhead is blocked. Diver gets the throw though. Now Leak stuck in a corner, but still has that reversal opportunity. But there is the stun. Big damage coming in. Diver sitting on CA as well. That yeah. could actually be enough. I think that is enough to take the round. It might be, or it will be very close. Yeah, it's it's okay. Oh yeah. It, I mean, to be fair, like Luke probably like completely broke her sunglasses here. So <laughs> like, if if had if it had been me, I probably would have been so hard broken. I would have been KO'd as well. I mean, Leak <laughs> still has has those five medals. Those do not go away after a round. It's not like. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's not like Jamie, but still, straight goes for the level three once that drive gauge back. Yeah, had, the, had, metal, and had a lot of meter, and this is already going to be quite a bit of damage. And oh, yeah, you got the level three, brother. <laughs> Yo, Manon straight with the oh, RKO out of nowhere, and that should be enough again. 
perfect. That's 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 just a Manon round at that point. What do you do? Yeah, definitely. And yeah, this is just you know like the all the all the medals accumulated just paying off immediately. Uh, why are yeah. we going back to lobby? This oh, is we, all. Uh, taking a break. Like... We might we might take a break. We might take a break. Oh, Diver doing a character swap from Luke to ah. Ken. That's ah, why. Uh, that's why we go back. I mean, at some point you gotta take a quick break, switch characters. Uh, Diver kind of looking like, hey, what 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 the hell is going on here with the classic green pine Ken uh, costume? Oh, nice parry on the drive. Impact, but again, Leak has found the first medal. Yep. And Diver in the corner, but now we got the the Ken Crutch MK. This is a super strong tool to get out of the corner. Skill and funding. I... Fundamentals move. Oh, but now Dive for stuck in a corner. Leak puts himself into burnout. Does get a metal off though. Overheads as well. And now it's time for some plus frames. Uh oh man. <laughs> Four medals uh -oh. now. This is super scary already. This is looking like a repeat of the first game. Yeah, League already starting with four medals here in round one. That's huge, and the overhead does find the hit. Those hit, those moves are so incredibly fast. Leak now on a set point. And this is going to be the last medal here. But yeah, they're, they're not only like fast goals. Oh goals. my goodness. But no, the RKO out of nowhere. Yeah, big, exactly like that damage <laughs> that Diver just took. All right, still going to get some combo here. Corner carry oh. the Ooh, the nice shimmy. This is gonna be pretty huge. DI, not a new reaction on the side of Leak. Still not letting the super rip. Oh, this he has the CA. He has CA. He's gonna cash out. There you go. Straight into the level 3. 69 all the time. And with that, Leak's gonna take it. 2 0. Yeah. Diver probably regretting not letting the level 3 rip. Ah man, but yeah, I mean, you you gotta. Um, it was a bit greedy not to use it, but to be fair, I kind of understood he had a lot of a. Uh, of um, he definitely had to make something happen for that comeback. It would yeah. have been really difficult with that meter, so I do understand. But uh, yeah, did not pay off in the end, and leak getting a very speedy win to that, uh, and that will allow him to just chill in the. Um, in the, the winner final, uh, yeah. before finally getting a chance to fight against Demulans. Yeah, which is, I think, it's not going to be the next set. Up next, we're going to get Dot .exe versus Meaty. That's going to be a jury mirror match. It's always yeah. very interesting, but Meaty being the number 10 seed, then Dot .exe being the number 1 seed. It's going to be very interesting. Meaty, as we saw before, very, very strong on offense, but as soon as they, when they had to play defense, it kind of started to crumble, but Dot .exe, uh, not... Oh, he's eating right now. I mean, you got, you're playing in a tournament. You got to be ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, be, uh, you, you can always be. eat in the middle of a, a yeah. of the set. I mean, you just start eating when you when you, when you eat a combo. In a way, you know, it's a, you know, it's it's thematic. <laughs> oh, for sure. But I mean, you got to be. Uh, I mean, it, it's an it's it's an online uh, tournament, so it's not a big deal. Uh, it's not a big deal. You can uh, sneak in a quick bite between yeah. games. I've but, been doing, yeah. I've been doing that during the commentary as well as well. Oh, let's go, let's go. I mean, I've already had dinner uh, before. Uh, might grab another bite when I'm done, but we'll mm. we will see how the tournament goes because we are already when it comes to the bracket already down to winners finals. Let's see how many players are left. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're already almost down to our top six. So the tournament is going very fast. And there you go. Meaty versus dot X E dot E X E. Mm. And for the, 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 the viewers, Meaty well. is the Meaty with is with the classic wow. costume and EXE <laughs> with the new one. That, that, that jury neutral just uh, go, go full screen, just charge all the all the yin yang uh, symbols. Like, <laughs> yeah, this is uh, yeah, this is just uh, going uh, this, this is the average jury matchup. Yeah, the, this was the, honestly this was a thing of beauty. <laughs> to be fair, if That's someone hard. can clip that or something, put it in the, put it in a museum. Yeah, All definitely. Right, now me with a slight life lead, but Exe has those uh, Fuhajin stocks. Oh, me uh, oh, puts himself in the burnout. 
Yeah, just really wanted that momentum, but uh, not really going to work out. Me, uh, Duffy Exit just managing to get at the corner. Minty staying really mobile, but getting in here. here. Ah, oh, the EXE one. trying to approach with the level 3. Meaty choosing that invincible wake up reversal. Whoa, dash. Very nice. <laughs> Mashing as well. Burnout on the side of .exe. This is a bit dangerous. Once again, drive oh, rush. Tried to throw. Oh, no. oh no, he tried to bet it all on the chip damage, but it, did, it was not enough. Meaty, that is a huge, that's a big judgment call. EXE taking that round. Alright, the overhead is blocked. Jump in. Ooh, doing the DP on the correct side as well. Alright, he now in the corner. Oh no 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 no! You gotta you gotta stop that, Meaty. Is what AXE just said. You gotta calm down a bit. Crouch jab needs one more hit. There you go. The Meaty, the Meaty yeah. strong punch. The medium punch. Yeah, Meaty did not did, did not feel like blocking the that time. No. To be fair, <laughs> yeah, this, is, <clears throat> this is a situation where you don't really know what's gonna happen. Oh, very That's nice. True. The the stand -up kick. Checking that drive rush, and now Dot EXE already corner, uh, cor cornering his opponent. At managing to escape with that jump. Yeah, MK and Crouch MK. Okay. That's the very strong buns, and again, Meaty able to react in time with a drive impact. Meaty not allowed to do anything in the punish counter though. That's a perfect round from Dot EXE, who is yeah, now one round away of moving on. Yeah, and moving on and says um, eliminating Meaty from from the tournament as well. Yeah, I tried to, to check that drive rush, did not work out this time. Gonna get quite a bit of damage. Meaty really pushing his opponent to the corner, taking a bit of space. Whoa! Wow! <laughs> oh, we're doing cartwheels. We're doing cartwheels. Where, where are you going? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my back to the wall. But the drive rush finds the hit. Another one. He's trying to building that third bar, and it is just enough. I think he may, maybe could have killed with a level one. But you want to make sure level three. That could actually be a perfect round as well, and it is double perfect, but by different players. Yeah, this was like all, all the back dashes into suddenly just doing half your health. That was the, the that was definitely the Yori Yagami neutral. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, getting a Bro, throw yo, we looping it. Ooh, oh, but okay, not okay. this time. OD cartwheels, OD DP on wake up. Oh, good I'm check on the right jump action once again. Yeah, EXE just very. Yeah, very capable of shutting down the offense. Midi really wants to, to dish out. The last round didn't quite work as well. Oh, but there's the confirm. Level 3, and that should be enough. And Dot .exe is going to take it 2-0. Yep, moving on in the loser bracket, eliminating Midi here. Man. I mean, we saw it. Jury, uh, jury versus jury games can be very explosive, but that does bring us to... Our final top six, Leek and Demulon still chilling in a winner's finals. And on the other side, on the loser side, it's going to be Diver versus Froschmeister, the froggy master himself. And this uh, is going to be versus, a Luke mirror. Yeah. And that's and on the other side, it's Pshu versus .exe, who we just saw. But yeah, Diver versus Froschmeister, you are correct. It's going to be a Luke mirror matchup. So more match, uh, more uh, mirror matches so far. Yep. I think this is like what the third one we see. I think, yeah, might be. I think uh, at least at least the second from. Uh, yeah, yeah, at the at least, yeah, at the least. But yeah, uh, kind of curious to see how the Luke mirror goes. Actually, I mean, Luke is a very. Yeah, I mean, Luke is, is, is kind of like Ryu, right? He's very fundamentals based. He has a fireball. He has an uppercut. Doesn't have the Tatsu, but does have uh, oh. Oh! 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 oh the, we we see Aki. Aki. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. That's I'm so ready. Yeah. Aki, Same. of course, but as we said, is illegal in this tournament. Just released last week. I saw a couple of a couple of players. Uh, saw a couple of clips on uh, on Twitter. She has some very nash nasty stuff. She has some some good normals, long range. Of course, she has to change. She has the poison, and uh, of course, the the sneaky uh, the sneaky snake move. Yep. 
going very the, interesting to see. going double projectile or not? Ooh, the bubble. Yeah, gonna uh, going to get that game started already. With and of course, the stand heavy time. kick. Such a good anti-air button to check people coming from the air. Ooh, very nice finish counter though. Ah, nice checking the the jump with the with the crowd jab, getting a bit of pressure with that drive rush. All right. And uh, we go, we just chilling in the back, of course. That that EX OD sandblast goes through that projectile. Now first Meister, now stuck in the corner. Blue kind of holding that pressure up. I uh, mean, yeah, this is gonna be a kill here, definitely. Yo, the DP yeah, good optimization coming out from Diver. Now first Meister, still, uh, he's still, he's still giving it a try. Uh, okay, with punish. Oh, check the tick throw is on deck. Yep. Ah, man. Frogmeister uh, feeling a little lost right now in that mid range and now stuck in the corner. Oh, the snake uh, crawl into the kicks again. Those are some. Uh, that's a pretty good normal. Oh, da dash in or drive rush. Throw and there is the poison. Got to be careful. Yeah. Oh, not able to yeah, pop though. The, the, the poison not only you know you you always gotta watch out because not only do you take damage over time, but this also gives her more combo opportunity. Not really going to matter right now though because she's definitely dead. Yeah, definitely. And, and we'll see if uh, Memphis. Yeah, down to Memphis, and we'll see if Froschmeister decides to stick with Aki. Or maybe does go back to the loot because it does look like Froschmeister was not feeling very comfortable uh, yeah, on the uh, on the on the Aki. Oh no, they're going to Ken. All right, uh, a lot of different characters being played by Froschmeister. Maybe that's for uh, that's for the matchup. We don't know. Yeah, we'll maybe. Be not really feeling like playing the mirror. To be fair, there's a lot of um, uh, th there's a lot of players that don't really like mirrors at all. So I do understand. Uh, yeah, I mean, at the very least, you know that Frogmeister knows Luke well since it's his character. Mm -hmm. oh, not really now going Diver. Di yeah, Diver just getting a very good star here. Frogmeister already stuck in the corner. There's that invincible option there that Ken has. But it doesn't. It's not deterring Diver so far, who is already back on the offense. Diver looking very solid. Ooh, Frushmeister trying to get himself in. That was the frame trap. Ah, uh, round one already. Uh, already over, and that's gonna make uh, put Diver now on match point. Yeah, this isn't over quite yet, but uh, the Ken not really working out right now. Ooh, although this is the ve a very good start here. Ah, oh, yeah. The punish counter, great whiff punish on that standing heavy kick. Yeah, really committing the, to the stand heavy, but uh, Diver kept it, uh, kept being patient, didn't really stick out a limb or anything. Ooh. Diver back in the corner, managing to escape once again. We are trading places. Ooh, the punish counter, and this is going to be it, I do think. Yeah, level three is going to be more than enough. Diver is going to eliminate Freshmeister from that tournament. It's going to move on in the lower side of the bracket. Very solid display of skill here by Diver. Yeah. We'll move on to, yeah, the losers' finals. Yeah, unfortunately, the Ken not working out for uh, for Frogmeister here. Yeah, tried a couple of different a couple of different characters. The Aki was not it, and I, I was able to see that Frogmeister just did they they didn't feel uh, comfortable on the Aki uh, for sure. Uh, and the Ken maybe was a little bit too late. Diver just was able to carry the momentum forward from the previous game. But up next, it's going to be Pshu yeah. versus Dot .exe. This could have been this week's Grand Finals. But no, yeah. it's only loser semis. Yep. It's uh, like, yeah, the, 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 this is not even over after this. They, they'll still have to get through Diver to, yep. to, to, to potentially get, the, get to the to get a loser chance. Finals. Yeah. To get a chance at that, that, the that grand. Three, finals, yeah. 
So, uh, no, we're not done just yet, but we are getting, uh, we are now in the final stages of the tournament. A very, uh, very quick one tonight. Yep. Only, uh, I think, 18 players were able to show up to the tournament. So, the winner of the tournament will take a big, hefty bag of points home oh, uh, for the, the league standings. Now, Pshu whipping out the, the Guile. I remember this. They pick Guile for uh, the matchup. Maybe plays, uh, likes... Uh, Likes Gal a bit better versus Jury. Yeah, probably, but this is interesting because this is like exactly the opposite playstyle where Marissa isn't too strong in neutral, but once she's in, she she decimated the opponent. And Gal, you know, he, he is all about that neutral. I mean, he, he does have you know pressure options, but uh, yeah, the, the explosive you. damage isn't exactly why you what you play him for. It's to I mean, yeah, he has it, goal. but it's very, yeah, you're right. It, the Gal does have that ability to put in some D, some sick damage with the level in the level to install, but it's very situational. But Pew now dialing on the offense a bit. Dot exe does find a decent hit now. Yep. <laughs> uh, sh shout outs to Laz, by the way. Shout outs to Laz Lazarus in the chat. Mm. <laughs> Oh, the DI tried to go through, but EXE blocking in time. Got to be careful for now. Uh, that chip option is there, especially with EXE in ah. burnout. It was kind of blocked it with his face. And then chip was enough for that final Sonic boom. Yep. All right, using the, the, the slow Sonic here to approach. Drive rushing in, plus framed, not really working out, but it's fine while getting a jump in uh, counter hit just after. Ooh, Ooh that's big. That's gonna be huge. I bet it all on the uh, on the OD flash kick, but no, now puts himself in burnout. .exe getting a lot of damage, does not even need the bar. Three bars on both sides here for the yeah, final round of game number one. Dot EXE once again, you know, anti-airing uh, the, the cross-up with the DP in the right direction. He's super good at it. Ah, uh, that's oh, another right. throw from Shu. We're checking that approach. But yeah, one button to many. This is gonna give a pretty big confirm to Dot EXE. True in the corner now. I mean, it's guys, so you, you do have some defensive options, obviously. Oh but, yeah, for yeah. sure. For sure, Pshu, I'll try to jump in, EXE doing the Guile, and One he's here on jumping. Did it again, oh, and with the conversion with level 3 on deck, it's going to be more than enough. Granted, yeah, no drops tonight. EXE taking game number one. Yep, and this is going to be the, you know, the, the, the interesting point, where either Pshu keeps going with Guile, or decides to... Go back to Marissa. No, it's gonna be yeah. We're gonna we're gonna commit to the guy. Yeah. To be fair, the guy was working out quite well. It just didn't really manage to seal the deal. Mm -hmm. I do so, agree with it, it over. I, I do yeah, agree with it over the Marisa just because uh, Jury has those tools to shut down every almost everything that Marisa wants to do. Uh, she has a lot of low pokes, so Gladius just gets negated. So I do think this is a good decision from Pshu. It has been working out quite a bit, but no dubs so far. That's the punish counter throw. Some decent damage. Ixie spending a lot of drive gauge as well. Uh, All right, back to neutral. A couple of limbs yeah. being thrown. There's a Sonic Boom again. Pshu trying to create that neutral. Ooh, very nice. No confirm, unfortunately. But it's fine. Ooh, the DI. No reaction, but it's blocked. Could have been reaction drive impacted. Oh, no. Now Pshu's stuck in burnout. Still has that level 2, but needs to be careful. EXE is he's, he's fishing. Oh, good jump over the Sonic Boom. Not, time, no, not enough time to charge up <coughs> the Flash Kick. And now EXE is on set point. Yep, this is definitely very dangerous here. Shoo, oh, the flash kick not working out once again. This is going to be, yeah, uh, this is going to be the dot exe taking a lot of the life lead here. Oh, Ooh, a lot of limb flailing again. Straight into level three, big uh, damage. Shoo still sitting on those three bars, but exe getting closer and closer to that match point now. Oh, oh wow. And into yeah, level three, straight. yeah, so, uh, quite a bit of damage here. It's not going to be enough, but it's going to give Pshu 30% of that burnout bar. Just uh, kind of recharging once that 
Once those drive gauges back. Yeah. Oh, there you Not go. That's a drive gauge, but getting some space as well. And this is definitely what uh -oh. guy wanted. Oh no! Oh no! It's over. That's GG. GG. <laughs> GG indeed. Exe with that drive impact special and yeah. uh, on the burnout. And of course, we keep saying you have to be aware. Uh, uh, you have to be aware of it at that point in the game. And now dot exe moving on to yeah the loser semis by the way so right we are down to our top four league fgc versus demi law it's going to be our winner side of uh, winners uh, <clears throat> finals and dot exe versus daver is going to be uh our winners uh, loser semis which is the uh, the set uh that we have coming up next yep this is, uh, again, this is moving along very fast. And yeah, Diver with the look against Dot Exit Jury. This, yeah, this is, this is going to be something. <laughs> oh, yeah, for I'm not sure, really for sure. sure what, uh, how these players will, like, try and play at this time. But, uh, mm. and also good to notice that Diver is the one who sent Dot EXC, uh, in losers as well. Yep, that's true. You're correct. It wasn't uh, like a completely one-sided set or anything. It was two one, but it's still an important information. Probably Diver will feel a little bit more confident. I mean, at that point, you have to be aware of like you, you, you have to be aware that if you move on to the bracket, there's a very big chance they meet again. So maybe dot uh, exe changing up the game plan, changing up the whatever he uh, kind of wants to do. And uh, see if that's the answer to the questions Daver is uh, is asking him. A good jumping on the sandblast now. So that's a good start. Yep. All right. Ooh, missing the throw. I keep him keeping the pressure up once again. It feels like the, the two players kind of want to play that mid range. Ooh, very nice. Daver once again stuck in the corner, but finding a hit, managing to escape. Sandblast. Yeah, Dive trying to control the screen right now with the projectiles, but again, dot exe. It's, I mean, that's that's the dangerous part about throwing a fireball on mid screen. If they jump over, they get a huge punish. Now, Diver now already on the the yellow Ooh. part of the HP bar. Perfect parries the jab. It's not gonna be enough damage though. Dot exe needs literally one more hit. Uh oh, now Diver. He's looking for it. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, this was, this was scary, that was, uh, that was definitely a strike throw situation, but, uh, -oh. uh, yeah, whoa, and yeah, this, yeah, this might be, no, no, there's no, 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 okay, my bad, yeah, ooh, yeah, and there's once the NCR. Again, those NCR. very, yeah, it was a very close call for Dot .exe, it's kind of sweating, I mean, if you're, uh, <laughs> if you're against Diver in the corner with a Luke, this, uh, it gets, it gets a bit scary, it gets, it gets a bit scary, definitely. Ooh, very nice once again that LK getting cancelled. Ooh, yeah, this is something he did in the first uh, yeah, that's true. Set of these two as well. Wow, waking up level three. This is gonna be full damage here. Yeah, full and damage, no scaling. Again, we are taking the exit to Memphis. EXE very close to burnout as well. Has to be careful now in CA range, but Diver with that confirm. Taking round two. Swinging back. Mm. All right, keeping him patient. The drive rush, though, finding that hit. Going to spend a lot of the drive gauge to get .exe toward the corner. Ooh. Yeah, he, uh, ODDP on wake up. Yep. Invincible option, of course. Got to be mindful of that one. Yeah, you're gonna represent it once in a while, of course. Yeah, keep your sure keep your just... opponents guessing. And I want to yeah. point out, Dot Exe is so solid on on those fundamentals with the uh, with the anti air. Every single time Diver wants to j jump in, Exe is ready with the anti air. Meaty, yeah. Medium oh. punch needs one more hit. No. There's a the throw. Takes okay. game one. I was about to say no level three, big uh, <laughs> big risk, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, we we good either way. Yeah. We uh, are going in. There's a throw. Alright. Oh, wow. ODDP again already. That's one throw. Dot EXE very close back to the wall. Ah, man. Alright. That's one stock. 
Trying to go for a cross up, but very nice defense in Davers uh, on Davers side. But gonna be defending a bit too long, gonna get in burnout. But oh no, that's a pretty bad whiff. Oh, just gonna wake up throw, going to work out. Still in burnout, but not going to last much longer. Dot TXE though, pushing Diver to the corner. This is scary. I get Gark and Soul, very nice. Yeah, one more hit here needed, Ooh. but EXE threading the needle puts himself now on set point to move on to losers finals. Yeah, that very nice shimmy. Yeah, the EXE showing uh, that's a very good display of skill here. Uh, but knowing Diver is now gonna roll over and with the crouching heavy punch, had the air uh, anti air as well. Now back to neutral, checks it with the drive rush, overheads is blocked. Uh, getting those stocks a little bit. Ooh. Oh, oh no, huge. this is so huge! Going yeah, to go into level 3, and this is going to be burnout as well. Yep, that is correct. There you go. <clears throat> Very good position here for .exe, and there ah. is that drive impact. We keep saying it, and it keeps happening. Yeah. EXE is going to move on to Losers Finals. To be fair with the with the burnout, the only way he could have uh, reacted to the drive impact was with you know level, level three, one, which yeah, level one, level three, or yeah, a jump in least, uh, like an invincible super. It would have been pretty big, but yeah, it's obviously it's very hard to do. Plus, there's <laughs> not a massive window for it. Obviously, since you since you have to input all that and make sure you don't get clipped by a law or something, especially when you you're such you're sure you you're low health like that. I mean, you're 100% correct, but now it's time for the winners' of finals. Yeah, this is time means... for the finals, actually. Yeah, Winner winners' finals, Meek versus final. Emulon. Ken yep. versus Manon. Yep, and this is going to be a pretty long set as well, because it's uh, obviously since it's the final, it's going to be first to three. Yeah, first to three, that is correct. So, uh, a couple of, you got a couple of games to work with. Uh, I kept, uh, I've been saying that for a couple times now, but yeah, it, get first to three means that you have a little bit more time to figure out your game plan. You have a little bit more time to figure out your opponent's game plan. Yeah. Uh, so that it, but it's also a point where that mental strength comes into play. Can you keep it up for the this many games? Yeah, Let's definitely. See. Leak though uh, was uh, very definitely very effective the last one we, the last time we saw him playing against another Ken as well. Oh man, this is already the corner. This is so scary against Ken. Oh, I neutral jump, heavy punch, and damn you, Law. Very strong star. That was almost a perfect. Yeah, Demi Long. Yeah, that's a. Uh, uh, if if I'm leak, I'm shaking in my boots. Yeah, I think just like we chew, Demi Long just uh, saw that uh, Link liked uh, going for a lot of uh, of grabs, and immediately tried to adapt to that. Just uh, you know, choosing to jump on the on the guessing situation. But leak, yeah, going for a bit more frame tra traps here. Definitely a good adaptation. This and this is quick adaptation as well. Alright, but still oh not gonna get the phone confirm. Burnout right now. Ah yeah, okay. Leak. Yeah, it's Keeping firing back. Yeah, firing back, not roll as again again, not rolling over. Once uh once to keep in this set. But now Demi Law again. Oh throw is teched. Leak only two medals so far. So it's kind of yeah. looking. It's 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 gonna be a, a tough hill to climb here. Oh, drive rush to go in. Ooh, once again, yeah, Leak really adapting with the going for a lot more frame traps than uh, than command grabs right now. We're gonna take a lot of damage though, and this is very good for the Mulant as well because he's gonna get some much needed drive gauge back. Ah, yeah, what's gonna big be damage? Oh, drive oh. rush, drive rush jab. Yep. Wanted to put Leak in Burnout, puts himself in the Burnout as well. So solid on those anti-airs again. He's looking for it now. Chip is in play. There you go. There's the fireball. Takes yeah, game one. Super rough to get in on that Ken uh, as Mano, like with no drive, uh, drive gauge at all. Plus no health also. That's kind of a, that's kind of a factor. 
Wow, the Tatsu? Alright, alright, alright. Like, Demulon still looking like not as unstoppable as before because Leek has definitely been doing a good job keeping up with him, but uh, still looking very, very strong. Ooh, that punish counter though. Yeah, good start right, here for Leek. And there's the third ah. medal as well. There's oh, the there fourth. We go. And Leak. that is enough. That yeah, Leak is enough. Very quickly reintroducing the command grabs to his games after doing only, <laughs> pretty much only frame trap for the last two rounds. Whoa! Uh -oh. Choosing to That's go for number the five here. already. Oh, tried to go with the EX, but the Dem Demilon was aware that the back dash. Oh, reset. All right. Oh, oh that's man. a great jump in. Fireball, that was not the play. And with five medals, that's a lot of damage. Needs one more confirm it into level three, potentially. Yeah, be very careful super here. scary, super scary. You might get jumped kill at any point. <laughs> Alright, but yep. Demulon's keeping it solid though, managing to find that hit and putting his uh, opponent in burnout, as well as taking a lot of health down. Uh, Sit down, down and shut up. Oh, wow, <laughs> drive rush with the standing fierce punch. Yeah. Now, yeah, taking uh, another round. Yeah, spending Leak. a lot of resources for it though. Still against a oh. wall, five metal man and went. Mm, <laughs> Quick for a meter, and this is already half your health gone. Yeah, of course, League now sitting on those five ah, medals. That's, it's huge resource as well. And there's the level three. I don't think that's going to be enough. It's going to be very close. Yeah, plus it's going to be another 50 50. So, good luck. All right. Keeping oh, it. In. Yeah, keeping it patient. Oh. More so, uh, putting himself in burnout, though. And that's going to be yeah, the standard MP. I'm not sure that was the play, Demulon. Putting yourself into burn in that situation with the life deficit. Uh, that was a very risky play and it did not pay off. Maybe Demulon just trying to go ham a little bit too much. Again, has those anti-airs when Leek tries to jump in. We see Leek really stay on the ground now. That's where Demulon can just throw out those fireballs. But here, this is where Leek can get something started. Yeah. Once again, with those very solid frame traps. Ooh, where are you going? Oh, jumping away, so no punish. Ooh, punishing the sweep, though. Leak definitely trying to get his turn, but going to pay for it quite dearly. You tried to escape the corner, and now you're going to die. Yeah, Demilon taking another round. Leak only two medals on deck. Oh, great jump in from Leek, though. There's the third medal slowly building it up. There's the fourth punish counter as well. That's a decent chunk. But the ODDP, as always. Oh, punish counter. Yup, there you go. Straight into level three as well. Cash is out. Yeah, full confirm. Very good positional advantage right now. And equ uh, equalizing the, like, the player's health as well. Mm-hmm. With round oh, no DP. There's a um, throw. Demilon getting very close, taking this game. Oh. Ooh, checking the drive. Actually, it was a trade, but it was a very important one for Leak here. Staying patient, playing that mid range, trying to find a way in. Ooh, the crack MK could have been the end. But Leak gonna get another chance. And the EX but fireball, not really very important. Occasion here. Yeah, Staying Demilon patient. just being very patient, but Leak. Is walking oh, in. Wow! The standing short. That oh, is not enough. Here. He's one more hit. Ice ice overhead ice. hits. Wow. Yeah. Demilot not blocking high. And Leek threading that needle. Keeps himself alive in this game. But now Demilon with, <laughs> with the offense. It's not letting up. Neutral jump. Leek. He's uh. not biting, but he did bite on the ODDP. Ah, uh, going for the command grab, getting dearly punished for it. <gasps> oh, no. oh no! Yeah, pretty that big miss drop. from the Mulant here. This is not the kind of set you want to make mistakes in because, you know, the opponent is super solid, so he's, they are definitely going to, to profit a lot from those mistakes. Good but... jump. Yep, there you go. Yeah. And that's game number three. Going to Demilot. 2-1. Again, this is a first to three, so we're not quite done. But Demilon with a one game advantage here. And you can see both players really trying to uh, yeah, adapt to uh, to each other. And it's making it very interesting. Demilon with a good start here. 
Ah man, this is a rough situation, especially with Mano here. No meter, but still managing to find that crouch uh, MP. Oh. Yeah, this is still can, you know, you gotta watch out for those reversals. Yeah, the ODDP is still is such a potent option now, Leak is stuck in burnout demula oh wow jump back heavy punch as an air to air oh yeah plus range means you're gonna get thrown at some point all right nice jump keep staying alive here oh yeah again he's still being very close there's the um, throw and now puts him putting himself on a match point Demilon needing one more round to put themselves into grand finals yep definitely a dangerous situation here uh, yeah but once again yeah leak just trying to play that uh, that neutral keeping it solid on defense but uh, how, how do you approach the can though oh, oh wow the man. level three is an anti-air great option and that's going to be a lot of unskilled damage as well. Probably going to go for the drive rush here. Yup, there it is. The jab. Oh, while well, we moving back. Shimmy. Oh, he misses oh. the dragon punch. It's not going to matter, though. The low forward finds it into the fireball. And Demilon with a 3-1 puts themselves into grand finals for the third qualifier here at CSL. Yeah, as you, as you said, Demulon just, this is the first time, like, fir first participation, and already sending such a strong message, like, speed running that bracket. And yeah, just, uh, just looking quite unstoppable here. Leak did a very good job keeping up with Demulon, but it wasn't enough in the end. Yep. Yeah. Doesn't mean Leak is out, though, because this was winner's finals, which means Leak has a chance in that loser side of the yep. bracket. And he's going to fight Dot .exe. Manon versus Jury. Very interesting matchup, of course. Manon really wants to be up close. Very scary when she's up close, especially with those medals. But Jury just very good at space control, especially with that low projectile and the, the big limbs. So it's going uh, to be interesting to see. You know, what else could be interesting to see is that match. You know, still plenty of codes mm. still left to be claimed. So make sure if you have not done it in chat, uh, make sure to claim those Macherino coats so we can get the biggest payout for these players because they're putting in the time mm. to make sure that, they get rewarded yeah, for yeah, it. And they're putting on a quality show as well. <clears throat> for sure, for sure. You're 100% correct. But now losers of finals, which means, again, first 2-3 territory. And Dot .exe really wants to get that spot into Grand Finals, but Leak is going to be the gatekeeper. Yeah, it's also important not only to, to win this, not only for another chance at uh, taking, you know, like uh, the tournament, but also simply because you, you're going to earn more points in the league. So oh, yeah, that's a, true. This is, all, uh, this is also something to do that's going to play a role in the long run. Mm -hmm, of course, yeah, that was a good anti-air straight into that Fuhajin stock. Laying on the projectile leak already now in burnout, but has a decent life lead. Three medals as well, so the situation looking pretty good so far. And that drive gauge is slowly coming back. Gotta watch out for the drive impact, though. EXE spending a lot of resources, Ooh, but there's yeah. the command grab with the fourth medal as well. Leak taking round one. Yep, and again, Leak off to a very good start with a lot of resources here. Right, blocking the overhead, that's a good punish. Yeah, very Whoa. fast move, but also very punishable move, but Leak finds the hit again. That's medal numero cinco. So it's gonna be a lot of damage. Yup, there you go. I mean, this is more like, you know, medal, medal, you know, sunk, you know, like, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right, sunk. Yeah, you're correct. I, I, I did the, the wrong language. No, but Leak very quickly taking game one, making .exe sweat a little bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is still, this is still anyone's game, of course. Plus, this is the first to three, so there's going to be a lot of adaptation. But once again, Leak! Every time, yeah, <laughs> Get, ha having a lot of uh, a very convincing, uh, convincing round. Whoa, what a reset with the DI. 
and putting yep. the opponent in burnout. Uh, Leak, yeah, now in burnout, but EXE also very close to that burnout. But again, the air to air, ah. the anti air, and there's the stun. Big damage coming out. Should be more than enough for EXE to close out this round. Yeah, just, uh, you, there's not much you can do at that point except just oh, no. accept death. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, basically, you're correct there. At that point, you're just like, uh, all right, how how am I making it out of this? But uh, the question is, you don't. Well, the answer is, you don't. League yeah. still sitting on three medals, though. But EXE now taking back the momentum. Like, legitimately, sometimes the, the, the answer when you're uh, very... The, the, when, when you're very far from the life lead and around, it's literally just accept that you're losing and prepare for the next one, you know? Right. Very true. Oh, but now you're stuck in the corner. Dot exe, and yeah. the TI is indeed checked. And with the amount of bar leak has, is he gonna spend him? No, not quite. He's gonna make yeah. that fifth medal, but he wants this round. Small amount He's... of greed, but definitely understandable. And also, yeah, that uh, that stand MP from Mano, just very very hard to deal with when you're in burnout. Yeah, leak. He's uh, keeping himself alive in this game. Oh, wow, that's Whoa. a good start. That's big damage, wow. A third of your HP bar just erased. Good confirm, level three for the burnout as well. Getting your yeah. drive gauge back for good measure. And this Leak is such now, a tough uh, situation for both EXE right now. Yeah. yeah, Leak with all the cards now. EXE in burnout. Oh, no what? anti air. Shout for anything. Ah, yeah, and oh! action finally with that level 3 and the drive impact. He knew it was coming and it's going to put uh, Leak and Burnout as well while uh, Darcy XC is getting back that drive gauge. And this is very rough with Manon because, like, you don't have any defensive option without your meter. It's gonna mm. have to just kind of take some time, try to. Find some space to breathe, but not going to work out, and this is going to be the end here. This is going to be 1-1, one, one. and dot .exe making that comeback. Yeah, dot .exe is uh, keeping himself alive. It's now 1-1, one, one. you are correct. Still, for those who just tuned in, it is first 2-3. Yep, this is the loser final, too. So. Oh, all right, good anti here on the jump in. Lee yep. again being checked. Oh, once again, yeah, the, uh, lots of cross-up from Leaks are eating uh, their, their target, I feel like. Oh, Alright, that yeah. drive rush. Another yeah, that drive rush, Lingo throw. Oh, yeah, committing a bit too hard on that one. Going to get back against the wall, but it's fine, we got the, the, the crouch MK. Going to take the corner here with the super. They sent here. Alright, yeah, now... EXE finding those hits, level 2, I mean, that's the Fushian engines, it's not going to be used now. But EXE, now again, he is he's finding himself a bit more. Uh, Leak did get the first game though, but now EXE firing back and already on uh, the game point here for game number 3. We're seeing some adjustments here. Alright, gonna get a second medal here. Mm. Oh wow, yeah. there's the fourth one! J get jump scare, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's uh that that's the Street Fighter 6 jump scare if I've ever seen one. But Leak is right. stuck in burnout and in the corner as well. He has to be very careful. EXE is very known for that pressure. Finds that corner though. And now it's time for EXE to uh, finally uh maybe uh get some things going here. Because EXE is now he does have that life deficit, but that he is in that CA range. So any hit straight into that critical art. We'll do a lot of damage, as we said. Now, cash it out. Yes, yeah, that's going to be more than enough. And now .exe is now up 2-1. Yep, with the full optimization as well. Yeah. yeah, I wanted to make sure, which I do agree with. At that point, you just uh, you have to make sure that your super kills. And if you uh, do a combo that takes half an hour, that's fine. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, the, 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 the most important part uh, at this point is definitely killing you. Oh, 100%. Right, going for the overhead at the start of the round. Playing that patient mid-range uh, mid game here. 
Here we anti-air again from .exe. Leak not allowed to approach from the air. Back to neutral, overheads not blocked. Oh, and there's the drive rush confirm. All right. Does he actually now in the corner? This is Kerry taking one command grab here. Ooh. Already lost so much health, and this is going to be death here. Yeah, and, and fourth medal as well. Already at four. Yeah, four medals, good start. Good first round here from League, but we have seen that .exe is very much able to uh, just turn it around in round number two. Oh, oh, no. oh that's a Ooh, that's big scary. whiff. <laughs> that's a very big whiff. Ooh. Stomped, Goomba stomp, all right. Oh, and there he is, there it is. This time the DP does find the mark. All right, getting a small confirm here. Leak. Trying to find a way in right now, the drive rush. Not interrupted. That's safe. Yeah, that's safe. All right. Yeah, yeah. He make himself safe with that. Reacts Ooh. on the DI. Puts himself into burnout because of it. But no, straight into that level three. I don't think that's going to be enough. No, not by a long shot. Yeah, but it's still going to be an okay situation here for Leak. And uh -oh. uh, yep, yep, go. overhead going to kill. This is 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, 2-2. Two, two. Very close set. That's the first... I mean, we have we've gotten a couple of close sets, but this set is looking like the closest so far. Two, two. We are down to game number five, final game between these two, and at this point, it is very hard to call who's going to take it. Yep. Who will have the chance of uh, to to fight Demulent in the grand final is definitely up in the air right now. I mean, good start for here uh, for Dot Exe. A ton of damage leak, very close to burnout as well. Has to be careful, but EXE just keeps the damage going. But the DI is reacted to. Leak is now stuck in burnout, though. That's huge for .exe. Oh, he doesn't care about the drive impacts. We grab him out of it. Yeah, you got to be careful for a chip as well, but it's not going to matter. Not blocking low. Yes. And now Look, EXE on set round. point. Yeah, Leak losing the run, but still getting two medals. This might be really big, though. Alright, going in with the drive rush. Not making to end here, but cross of Leak now in the corner. This is a bit of a bad spot here, but... Uh, another throw. Breaking the traits also, that's uh, kind and of destruction exe. of government property, that's not very nice. And dot .exe now uh, getting the offense going, not really letting Leak out of the corner. There's the low kick, so Leak finds the hit, that's huge here. Close to burnout is Leak though. So that could be a, th something EXE would like to capitalize on, but no, Leak recharging the bars. Both players having three bars. You best believe that once EXE finds that hit, e e albeit a jab, a short, a low forward, it's gonna cash out because it's a very big chance it might kill. The DI is checked. Leak was ready. Yeah, like, um, yeah, uh, Dot.exe just kind of kept checking those reactions, but Leak just proving that he's seeing through the codes. He's seeing those uh, D drive impact. Yeah, and now we are down uh, to the final round of the set. Leak four medals, both players three bars. It's going to be a nail biter here. Leak needs a couple of good overhead, a couple of good throws. Oh, no he he hits him check. with the overhead. Oh, this is a big combo here, though. No level three yet. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Leak spending it, trying to get the um, that life deficit out of the way. What's going to be the, uh, the Oki situation here? This could be very scary. Yeah, there's not very I'm much Oki that action. Leak can do, sadly, at that level three. Does find a decent confirm. Five bars means if he get thrown once, it is over, Ooh. but he bets it all on the level three on Leak's approach. It's going to be very close, but I don't think it's going to be enough. No, nah, it's not going to kill last and chance, and throw. this is going to be the throw. And yeah, that's the taking three. it 3-2. Yeah, 3-2 over Leak. Wow, that's the closest set I think we've seen. I've seen in a while here on, uh, on, yeah, on, on Challenger League. And that's yeah. gonna put not exe on a winner, a, a grand, a loser side of grand finals versus Dem Yu Long with the Ken. For those who don't know, that means that dot exe needs to win two sets, and yeah. uh, Dem Yu Long only needs to win one. Yeah, and like 
I, honestly, with how like unstoppable the Mulans has been, you know, looking uh, since the very start of this tournament, how do you win two sets though? <laughs> because like win winning one set seems very complicated already. That's very true. You know what else should win is this a match arena. There are still many, 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 many codes to claim. 44 are still left. So make sure if you're in chat, uh, yeah, to click on those links. Uh, uh, for the qualifier match Reno, the season match Reno is something that will uh, be active the entire season. All codes for that have been claimed, but you can also do a direct uh, no, contribution. No, no, I, don't, uh, I don't think so, actually. I think there are codes, some codes left even for the... For the um, oh, yeah, for there the are game. still 24 codes remaining for the season match Reno. So while yeah. you're at it, make sure to uh, you claim uh, yeah, you claim those as well. Yeah. Because uh, that way... That means at the end of the season, the maximum payout <clears throat> is guaranteed. So if you have not done so, make sure uh, you claim... I mean, claim them for both match arenas, right? Yeah. Make sure to get yeah. to, to send the players with the biggest amount of money home. Plus, it's going, it's going to take you like uh, 10 seconds. Really. Yep. <laughs> Just do a couple it. of clicks, a couple of clicks, a couple of seconds. That's all you really need. No real money needs to leave your... Uh, wallet or purse, whatever you so desire to store your money in. Maybe a sock beneath the bed. Maybe uh, but... a pocket, you know? Oh, yeah, no, yep. Maybe the bank? Who knows? Uh, th there's a lot of places you can store money potentially, yeah? I mean, I have but now, uh, yeah, we're waiting on Demilon.exe to get the matches going because that's going to be our, our, our grand finals. Demilon going, uh, just blazing through. The winner's side. Let's see. Demula and Dot .exe have not played just yet. They were on different sides of the bracket. So it's going to be a brand new uh, brand new matchup. Dot Dot .exe not having uh, played Demula before. And I think this is also Demula's first appearance uh, for Challenger League. Yep. And uh, what, a, what a first appearance it was. <laughs> but yeah, oh, yeah. Um, I think like there's, there's a pretty good possibility that uh, either .exe or Demulent has been watching the other matches on stream and already has some idea on how to adapt and what kind of strategy uh, they are going to have going in. And that could, that, that could, uh, that could uh, make a lot of interesting situations happen. Oh, for sure, for sure. And uh, of course, Demilon being very, he was very solid on the Ken. We have have not seen play him uh, play a different character so far. Yeah. Uh, and Ken versus uh, versus I mean, Jury, of course, very I mean, like yeah. Ken, Ken, the character that won Evo. You, you, you know, it's mm -hmm. solid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very. I mean, the most complete character are people calling him not. Uh, I mean, of course, according to the birds, JP the strongest character in the game. I think most uh, players would agree that JP at the moment is the strongest character in the game, and Very after strong. that, it is indeed the Ken, but not, uh, but not entirely the strongest character. But Ken still, uh, according to many players, the most complete offensive uh, player. A, a character has all the offensive tools you kind of want, you kind of need. Um, so Ken still a very much complete character. He, he's playing the, the this character. He, he definitely playing Street Fighter Six. Yeah, for sure. He's playing Street Fighter Six and probably two other games at that time uh, at the same time. It's it's how complete this character is. But yeah, but now it. it is it is over for conjecture because we're gonna see it right now. Grand Finals of Challenger League qualifying tournament number three. Demilon on the left and Dot Exe on the right. Ken versus Jury. And once again, this is going to be um, this is grand final. This is so this is first to three, and potentially if uh, Dot Exe managed to get a set, this might go for uh, potentially uh, even more matches. Oh, it's Ooh, a Tatsu. Wow! Oh, oh no, he wow. tried. He, he thought that EXE oh, was going to punish him, but the ODDP, that's a big whiff. But Demilon still co uh, yeah, comes out on top on that exchange. That was kind of wild. Yep. Plus, uh, I think the, the Tatsu was kind of interesting because we saw... Uh... We saw the Demulon doing quite a bit against Meaty to 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 counter that projectile, and apparently .exe was just kind of ready, managed to almost get a punish on that Ken. Was a very unfortunate miss on the on the on the DP punish. Wow, the Crouch MKs! This is, well, welcome to Street Fighter, everybody. Yeah, Crouch Crouch <laughs> MKs is the name of the game, and Demulon taking round one. That was a very uh, 
Very spicy round here. In yeah, this, pretty uh, long in this round, round as well. Yeah, very long as well. I think a time with them to like 36 seconds. You don't see that often, especially with these two characters on screen, because both these characters really just want to go, uh, go ham and go at it. Demi Long finds a confirm here. Oh, he's he, he been doing that a couple times. Demi Long being a bit cheeky. Uh, I the driver rush, yeah, getting some um, some very nice plus frames, managing to get a frame trap. Oh, backing off after the, the, the drive rush, that's probably pretty interesting data here. Maybe he was expecting some a DP from uh, from .exe. To be fair, .exe has been letting them rock quite a bit. Oh, that's a trade. Pretty advantageous for Demulent, but very nice anti air Once again, anti air in the cross yeah, not going to have to spend meter, I don't think. Oh, no, he doesn't spend. Ah. That could bite him in the ass, though. Because now the RDXE is stuck in burnout. But the low forward again, the crouching medium kick finds oh. that hit that .exe desperately needed to close out that round. Because yeah. that could have gone, could have gone different very, very fast. But Demilon finds the hit straight into that level three. Yeah, gonna just get that life lead going. And again, very nice positional advantage. Now, .exe is stuck in the corner. Gonna have to face all that can pressure that's just so strong. And oh, not missing the punish that time. Let's go. There, yeah, and... cashing it out as well. Level three, both yep. players very liberal with their super bar usage. Yeah, and yeah. burnout for Demulent as well. Ooh, working on meshing, finding a counter hit. Uh, yeah, Demilon now is in burnout, has to be careful. Wow, just throws him in the corner with the hell wheel. Oh yeah, good fireball to check that drive rush. Alright. Uh, Ooh, what an yeah, here. here. Oh, this oh, could be it. Yup, there you go, no drops. That's gonna be game number one here for Demula coming out swinging. Yep, but uh, still. Honestly, uh, Dusty was uh, was doing very nice, uh, keeping up with the Mulan here. This was still oh, yeah. a very empty, close first empty match. jump throw. You got yep. the empty jump low and the empty jump throw. Demulon kind of he's he's, uh, he's he's literally mixing his approach up. All right. Ooh, yeah, very nice and here once again. Dusty Dusty is not a player you can jump on that easily, you know. Right. Very correct. Oh, standing short into that DP. Demilon, very uh, <laughs> very confident in his approach here. Not much drive gauge left for EX. Ooh, now thrown into the corner. Managing to find a hit though. Ooh, the low. Opening up. Yeah, this should be a kill. Yeah, yes. okay, had the, yeah, had the stocks to extend the combo. Yeah, I was feeling a repeat of the last round, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, All right, okay, now, yeah, Demion's stuck in the corner now, but it doesn't matter because he has that ODDP. Yeah, it still can. At the end of the day, it still can. You, you gotta watch out for reversals. It still can. And going to get, wow. yeah, just cashing out immediately. Gonna get that. Yeah, uh, maximum damage. Yep. EXE sitting on about 30% of their life gauge. Wow. Standing. A heavy kick. Such a good whiff punishing tool. Oh, no. That's a big whiff. The whiff DP is going to give .exe the opportunity that they need. CA is on deck as well. It's going to cash it out here for sure. Yep. In the row, managing to get that win for .exe. This is going to be 1-1 uh, one, one here. 1-1 yeah, one, one, .exe. On max range with that, I think it was a crouching medium or standing medium kick. And uh, spent all the resources that they have. And now it's one tied up. This this set is going to go down to the wire again, though. Dadixi is in loser side of the bracket, so he needs to win two whole sets where Demila only needs to win one. Yep. This is not easy as well, and I think uh, that's going to be interesting to see if .exe manages to to break. Uh, I, I think like uh, Leak is the only only person managing to 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 win a match against uh, Demulent, and he won only one. So 
Maybe, maybe dot exe will beat the Riker. I don't know. I that's safe. Yes. Oh, Demilon again with that cross cut. Found the right button. Ah, uh, the jab. Finding the hit. Ooh, the cross up, but uh, nice block by dot exe. Oh, yeah, he has to be careful of that projectile. Dot exe going in now. Oh, and Damilon, he tried to go on the offense, but no, the DP is there, and there's the wall splat, and dot .exe. Now he's, he's gathering that momentum after that game one win from Demilon. It's, he has not been able to get a win yet, a, a round yet, so now dot .exe three rounds in a row. Demilon needs to make some adjustments here to keep themselves alive. Gets a good start here, but then again, dot .exe able to get that momentum, but of course, that invincible option is always there when you need it. Uh -huh. Ah man, this could have been a very dangerous uh, confirm, but uh, didn't get manage to get it. Uh, both players with level three on deck. This might get huge yeah, right now. Let's... Yeah, it's gonna be enough. Yeah. Extendo Bombo level three. It could it should be enough, and if not, it's gonna be very close. But looking at the damage, it's gonna be more than enough. Yep. And dot exe two games in a row, now four rounds in a row, two one over Demilon. Yep, possibly a, a bracket reset. He only needs one win to to manage to put Demulent into the loser with him. I mean, first Ooh. game is data. Oh, he tried to yeah, try try to get a combo afterwards. The range was not there though. Yep. And Dot is still stuck stuck in the corner. Ooh, blocking the sweep. No wow, wow. once again, what an end here. Reversal, trying to get his turn back. Ah, oh, man. All right, ground one goes to Demilon. Now the, the streak is over. Uh, after Dot .exe getting, getting four straight rounds, Demilon finally putting a stop to it. Oh, low forward confirmed the skill and fun these Demilon now. Oh, he gets thrown though, now stuck in the corner. And that's yep. where .exe has been able to get the, some things going. But the standing short again finds that hit. But now .exe <laughs> throwing out their own invincible options. Back to the corner again. Managing to escape with the drive rush. Another throw. Oh, and the oh, crouch. Oh, that's it. That should be enough. Failed. Yeah, cashing out with a level 2 style points. And now it's 2-2 two, two. Demilon. Very, 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 very good adjustments here. 2-2 two, two needs one more game to take home the tournament. Yeah, this is terribly close. And this, this, this like the, 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 the result of this match is going to be super important because this is going to decide whether this is the end of the tournament or whether we are going to have another first to three. Yeah, of course, that's that's true, that's true. Demilon really wants to close it out, of course, as soon as he can. .exe. He's not gonna. He's not gonna say say oh, uh, say die. Oh, but the ODDP. That's a big whiff. Right. Plus, it's super important because obviously uh, both of these players have been, you know, letting rid those reversals. But since you're, you you got your your reversal baited, like in the possibly the very last match, that's probably going to make Demulent a bit more hesitant to to rely on it. .exe looking for that hit here, Demulon uh, uh, again. The CA range, HP wise already. Needs to be very careful now. .exe, he's looking for, it, but he's patient. Jumps over the fireball, but no jump in. That could have been the confirm, I think. Oh, Jacks the drive rush. Oh, but no confirm. Oh, oh, this could be where it started. Yeah, but Demulent in burnout. Oh no, yeah. no, no! That was not it. Yeah, that that's not even. Yeah, that's not invincible. Ah, uh, it was not the play. Yep, Sally. Anyway, that was now, not the play. Does he actually possibly on on set point here to to reset the bracket, giving us another first to three, possibly just giving himself a chance to 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 win that tournament. Yeah, reset Ouch. point. Oh, jump in with the jump fierce. Oh, straight man. into that level three. Of course, if he does win the round, that means there's going to be another round. So he's going to build a ton of bar back. Has yep. a big live advantage here as well. Oh, dash in. Bat wow. Wow. My man is ready with the DPs. Uh-oh. All right, that's one occasion here for .exe. Might be able to make something happen. 
DX Fireball. EXC like one this. hit away. No. Yeah, Gimlon check chilling, but EXC still on that Ooh. offense. ODDP. Demilon a little oh, bit. Yeah. Oh my god, he bet <laughs> he bet it all. High yeah. risk, high reward, and now Demilon on tournament point. Yeah, this definitely could be anyone's game here. Dot TXT with a lot more meter though, that's definitely an oh, important that uh, information. But the Tatsu here countering the. Oh, oh no! The and Demilon! No! Oh, he's cashing out, wants to do as much damage as possible. He's gonna give away the corner. Wow, that was a sneaky setup. EXE was aware to parry it though. Yeah, very, very nice defense. Oh. And still three balls on the side of .exc. Not really managing to get in, but that's fine. We're keeping it, pay we're staying patient. Ooh. Oh, the big throw with. Oh no, throws him back with the hell wheel. I and say from EXC. Here. Gotta be careful, EXC has those three bars. Might save it for the CA for max damage. Oh, Drive Rush, the medium kick. I uh, Drive Rush. Ooh, Again with the this throw. is big. Oh, he needs one James more hit. There's a the throw. He's gonna bait the DP. He baited the DP, but EXC not biting. Demilon needs a couple more hits. He has level two. So any hit could actually confirm into super. Oh, oh no, don't, no, tell don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Level three CA is not gonna be enough. Yeah, but, but this we'll is put him very close. In the corner, he does have two bars of meter, so this is very important to, to, to consider, but. Ah. Be careful, what's going, what's gonna be the jab, oh, jab, and the EXE resets the bracket. Man. We are down to another first of three set. Dot EXE threading that needle. Wow, that was, uh, whew. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it was very As sad. you say. <laughs> and, man, and uh, once again, Demi, Demi went... <laughs> Easy, yeah, <laughs> cool. Uh, but yeah, once again, Demulet was looking so strong, so unstoppable, and Dotty Exceed just managing to find all the cracks, all the cracks in that uh, in that Ken player. Mm. Yeah, and that uh, Dotty Exceed. I mean, there's a reason why they're the first C, right? Uh, they already have a couple of points, but that Demulon, even though uh, when with them coming out of nowhere and just. Uh, <laughs> uh, sure. Speed putting themselves the grand, in the winner side of grand finals, but dot exe uh, just very he was, uh, every single time that Demilon got a very big lead and exe was almost uh, was almost dead. Was like no, this is not over because dot exe is just so solid, solid at keeping their cool, uh, not not panicking and actually making Demilon panic when they're stuck in the corner. Only have about ten percent life left. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And uh, yeah, that, that certainly was a, a tough set in like Dotty AC is currently taking a bit of a break, I think. Uh, yeah. But yeah, that's fair, honestly. Uh, that, that, that was probably <laughs> a very stressful, uh, very stressful, um, some very stressful matches to play. And yeah, in tournaments, it's Quite important just you know take a breather once in a while plus this is a online format so we're not exactly like pressed for time he can just you know take like five minutes just breathe a little yeah, yeah. i mean it's a free so it's, and it's, it's also just a new set so you can just if you want you could yeah. change characters but knowing demulon it's not uh probably gonna stick on the ken We'll see it. Sure, I think he did stick on a can of cord. Yeah, there you go, Demilon. Oh, he, he's showing. He's showing the war face. You got a yeah. war face. <laughs> the piece. But yeah. Um, to, to be fair, I mean the the can was still quite effective. It's just like uh, Dot he managed to, to come out on top in end, but it was still a very close set. So I don't think you know uh, keeping Ken in is a bad a bad decision or anything. Oh no, not at all, not at all. Uh, Dem I mean, Demilon got very close to, of course, that <laughs> the tournament point almost got close to uh, to winning the set, but now, oh, he's getting a good start. EXE stuck in the corner. Yeah, he's gonna use a level one. Gonna go for that cheeky EX Tatsu setup again. No, EXE with the cross cut, and Demilon just betting it again on the ODDP, getting very antsy. 
Yeah, this was the risk, yeah. Putting yourself in burnout for the for that reversal and just not really putting your second uh, Yeah, and just again, really we keep. I mean, I, said, I said it right before the match started. Every single time when Demilon gets close to uh, closing the round, I don't. I keep thinking the round's not over because that EXE just has. He has his way of just turning those rounds around. And this might. This is looking very good for Demilon at the moment, but it can just turn around at a moment's notice. That EXE already finding the hit. He's close to three bars as well. So any yeah, confirm could go into level three. Yeah, and that is just staying solid, and you know, like it, it, it's always the thing. Like it, I, again, it's not over till till the game says so. So you you, you, know, like, you can never really just uh, tell yourself that you've lost. Like that. Oh, puts himself in the burnout. It's not gonna matter though. Needs one more hit to close out the game. There's the throw, of course. Jury has those throw loops available to her, and now EXE is in the lead. Yep, and rematching immediately, like both players wanted to keep that momentum going. This is going to be a pretty good start here for Demiland. Ooh, managing to get that frame frog. I sure you can. Nice end here. Sure you can. Once again. Oh, hey, hey, rush fears. Hey, hey, hey. We got those loops. Those loops are not easy. But EXE, yeah. I mean, it's still not over. Even with like 10% HP, I mean, again, the .exe finds that hit. So s small hits that add up so much. And you're stuck in the corner now as well. Demilon, uh -huh. he bet it on the ODDP for one second. I thought it was not hitting, but it worked out in the end. And now Demilon taking this round one of game number two. You know what? I'm not sure, but I feel like Dotxe was kind of trying to like, like, kind of waiting for the um, for the reversal because he was just really keeping pretty far away. But uh, obviously, the Odishoryu just goes very far. It does go very far indeed. All right, Axe Nuja again. Demilon gets. He always gets, he finds those strong openings, but then .exe just able to turn things around. Three bars on both players. Oh, the throw away from the neutral jump, but it, there is an anti-air as an answer. There's the level three, CA rather. So it's gonna be maximum damage. Yep, not quite enough either to kill. Oh, the low, the low out, forward. Going to find another hit. Yeah, one one again. Scores are tied. It is indeed still a back and forth as we've seen the entire evening. Both players just really going for it. Yep, definitely. And this, honestly, who? Like, ah, oh, man. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I hit my Mac on accident. I hope I didn't like your definitely one with that. Uh, but yeah, like there's really just no way to know who will come out on top right now. This is so contested. I didn't he manage to get a decent that lively, but Demilon Ooh. still has he has those anti airs on deck every single time, and he goes for the Shoryukens as well instead instead of just like for a down heavy punch. Hmm. I mean, it's the, it's the most effective thing. Obviously. Uh -oh. oh, the DI we haven't seen one in a while, and this. They ended up pay, uh, the that bet ended up paying off. Dot TXT managing to get the first round here. This could be pretty huge. Alright, now dot EXE. Oh, he finds the sweep. Time for some setups. MT low. Demilon was ready with the block though. I sent in the projectile. There's the wall yeah. split again. You're walking in, yeah, just Demilon's being walked into the corner. That's the perfect wow. parry. Not gonna be a lot of damage though. But that does mental damage. EXE. Oh, but of course uh, that is a reversal. Oh! Yeah, it was close enough for it to work. And yeah, this that's gonna is be enough. going to be the match 2-1 for dot .exe. On, uh, on tournament. Yeah, needs one more game. Needs one more game to uh, take home the tournament or take home, win the entire tournament and get yep. some uh, very well deserved points. Yep, definitely. All right, and this is starting pretty well here with, for .exe getting the first hit and the throw. Ooh, oh, the DP is blocked. Is huge. 
Oh, and the of DI course. again, Demiron not really reacting to them. I don't think we've seen... <gasps> oh my goodness, oh, wow. he tried... He, he thought, he thought he was going to go for the tick throw, but no, not quite. And that's going to put .exe now on tournament point. I find the nest little confirmed. Oh, that's a trade. Putting... Oh, the yeah. And right now, you can just see Dot EXE is really, he's really amping up the pressure. It's looking like Demilon does not how to deal with it. One more hit, there's the throw. AEXE, one more hit away, and there it is. The ODDC closes it out. Three, one. After a bracket reset, EXE looking absolutely unstoppable, and he takes home Challenger League third Street Fighter Six qualifying tournament. Yep, very, very well deserved win. This was. Some very tough matches, but just the uh, .exe is super solid, managing to to just stop the Demulin that had been looking completely unstoppable all tournament. Oh yeah, and, for uh, sure. Yeah, managing to take the win home. That's yeah, yeah GG. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think GG is the the right way to say it. Uh, .exe in the second set, especially after game number two, looked. In full control, just at, uh, at that's. That, I mean, that, <laughs> yeah. I think that's the best way of, of putting it. Demilon just did yeah, not know yeah. how to deal with the pressure because at first it was just Demilon going uh, very aggressive, and then Dot Exe just kind of waiting it out. And then when it was really needed, that's when that offense offense from Dot Exe uh, appeared. But now in that second set of of, of grand finals. That's when .exe really just went all out, showed them what he's made of, and uh, took it 3-1 in the bracket reset. Yep. And honestly, yeah, that definitely was a very interesting uh, grand finals. And yeah, that's it for this tournament. This was still a pretty, pretty, pretty fast one. Uh, just completing everything in about two hours. Hmm. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, still, I mean, Street Fighter 6 goes by like a flash. But yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, uh, by the way, before we uh, we we, uh, we close the stream, of course, it's very important to check out those match arenas. Yes, yeah. yeah, Sinjul knew what I was going to talk about. We are because uh, we are telepathically connected because he, uh, he knows what I'm thinking. So make mm -hmm. sure to click on both uh, both of those links. Uh, make sure to click as many codes as you possibly can. Uh, to make sure that we can uh, give the most amount of uh, money to the players. And if you're at it, you want to support directly, you can also do that through the Kofi. Uh, you can donate a couple dollars. And uh, for every do dollar that is donated through that Kofi, uh, Shinju will put a dollar uh, of his own money. So every dollar yeah. you put in there will be doubled at the end of the Challenger League. Yep. Well, uh, I think that's going to be it for this stream. Well, GG's, uh, GG's for all the players. Uh, big thanks once again to, for, uh, to Sinjul. Very effective TOing, just, you know, mm -hmm. keeping things going very fast. And, uh, well, uh, thank you, Jayfree. Uh, all right. For the, uh, for the co commentating. And, yeah, I think that's going to be it for us. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. And maybe do you have anything left uh, to say? Um, not much. Uh, check out Damascus stream in a couple, uh, in probably an hour or two uh, and a half. We're going to play some CS to Counter Strike 2 with a couple of uh, with, with the boys. So make sure <laughs> <laughs> make sure to check, uh, check out that stream. And, uh, all, as always, follow me on Twitter at xjfree. But uh, do you have any closing remarks, uh, remarks, Masker? Uh, I think I'll also plug in my Twitch while I'm at it. Uh, you can find me at uh, twitch.tv slash masker2196. And uh, I do play Street Fighter 6 from time to time. Uh, I also play other games. I'm probably going to be playing some Guilty Gear again. Uh, and yeah, uh, once again, shout out to Sinjol. You can yep. join the, the 2 BCU Discord. Uh, there's always, of course, there's, there are tournaments happening right now. And obviously, you can find games, you can find some uh, people to play with and all that. Or just um, uh, a nice chatting uh, experience, because we all, uh, we're all very welcome here at 2 BCU. But yeah, as you said, Asuka, that's going to be it. Sinjul as well. Thank you so much for having us. 
But that's going to be it for Challenger League qualifying tournament number three for Street Fighter 6. We hope you had a good night. Sleep well. Yeah.